Denver Mayor Mike Johnson, y'all. He's vowing to get rid of homelessness by 2025. Wants to end all evictions. No more evictions in Denver. Whew, these wokies are getting crazier and crazier. Let's talk. <laughs> Dude, this is weird, man. The, it's so weird. If you ever, like, have some time and you're just, like, trying to Google, like, things that are happening, like, landlord-tenant law-wise in incredibly blue locations, like, dude, you will be shocked at the kind of stuff they are talking about, right? I come across this article because uh, I'm doing that because I like to make stories and and, and provide that coverage for you guys, right? So I guess you don't need to spend a lot of time Googling what the Wokies are doing to ruin landlords' lives, because I do that. And then you could just watch me tell it to you, right? I give you I give you the info, the insight, right? So I'm doing that, because that's what I do. That's my job, and amongst other things, right? Uh, anywho, I'm doing that, and I come across this article. Now, truth be told, the article's older. It was when... Mike Johnson uh, was running against, I don't remember, who, whoever the hell else he was running against. Some woke chick. I mean, does it matter? <laughs> it's like the woke versus the woke. Uh, brow. Brow. I don't know. Uh, what the hell is her name? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's in the article. If you want to read the fucking article, I'll link it. Go ahead. But anyway, so Johnston, Johnson won. Okay, Johnson won the election. Duh. Spoiler alert, right? So he won the election. He's the mayor. And his whole thing is like, yeah, we're going to get rid of evictions. We're going to get rid of homelessness, okay? But this is how ridiculous these places are. <laughs> they made, they wrote like a whole ass article about this. <laughs> so they were like doing a debate, and you got the other chick. And they, what the hell is her name? I should I feel like I should. Kelly Brow. Kelly Brow. Kelly Brow. Mike Johnson. Debating one another. And this is how crazy it is. Like, this is posed to them as, like, a legitimate question and, like, a legitimate concern and a legitimate thing that could happen. 18, 18 separate organizations, right? Like, in normal locales where I do business, where I, I run rentals, like, there's usually, like, one or two, like, fringe organizations that have little to no funding of a bunch of, like, crazy idealistic liberal maniacs that try to do crazy shit, but everybody's just like, dude. Like, shut the fuck up, Mr. Green Hair. Like, we don't care what you have to say, right? But in places like Denver or, like, California or, like, that dirty shithole Portland, like, people, like, they, they like, engage with these lunatics and, and, and they make them feel like the things that they say make sense, right? Like, these are the kind of locations where, like, you know, if a kid comes up to his teacher and he's like, I'm a kitty cat now. The teacher doesn't call the parents and be like, hey, I think little Timmy uh, is confused. Little Timmy thinks he's a fucking kitty cat, but he's not a kitty cat because he's a little human being boy, right? That's what would, like you would normally anticipate happening, but like not in places like Denver. In places like Denver, they're like, are you a little kitty cat, Timmy? Okay, let's put a kitty litter box next to the urinal in the boys' bathroom because you're a fucking kitty cat now, right? Like, that's what they do in these kind of places, right? And that's how they treat uh, these, like, insane woke tenant organizations that come up with crazy shit, right? So 18, I'm trying to make an eight here. I can't do that. 18 tenant organizations are given the platform to ask questions uh, to these two, and 18 of these organizations have come up uh, with, like, a plan of attack and the expectations for the next mayor of Denver at that time, who is now Mike Johnson. And they're like, yo, you need to prove to us which one of you two candidates can make all evictions illegal and not happening, and, like, there will be no homeless people, no evictions. Not one single human being will get evicted in the entire city of Denver by 2025, and you guys got to make that happen. Right. And it's Denver again, the place where like little Timmy's got his little fucking dick and he's fucking pissing in the kitty litter because he's a goddamn cat licking his fucking hand now. Right. Instead of just saying, damn it, Timmy, you're not a fucking cat. You're a little boy. Go play baseball. They don't do that. It's Denver. So instead of laughing at them and being like, what are you fucking maniacs talking about? Shut the fuck up. They didn't do that. These two <laughs> candidates had to like literally like fight each other of who had the better path 
to making, <laughs> making, making there be no evictions in Denver. It's insane. And Johnston, uh, he apparently had the better plan because he's all like, oh, we're going to have no homeless by 2024. By the end of my term, nobody's homeless, right? So he had the better pitch. Uh, to these lunatic maniacs, and uh, he ended up winning the election. But that's like how crazy things are in these ultra liberal areas, right? Like <coughs> he's pitching on how the the city could get more taxpayer money to fight evictions and to fight landlords and to give deadbeats who don't want to pay their rent uh, taxpayer paid attorneys because. You know, obviously, guys, in all situations where a landlord evicts a tenant in a place like Denver, right, a place where little Timmy becomes a kitty cat, uh, it's not that the tenant decided to start stealing from the landlord and the landlord was forced to evict them because you can't just steal my house, bro. No, no, no. This is Denver. You could be a kitty cat if you want. Uh, in Denver, they're like, oh, you decided you didn't want to go to work anymore, and you decided to start stealing money from that guy. Obviously, it's because that guy's an evil landlord, and I bet he's fucking racist and homophobic and transphobic, too, that dirty piece of shit landlord. Let's take money from all the people in Denver who do go to work, and we'll give it to attorneys so they could go in and ruin that racist, homophobic, transphobe's life, right? Because it's Denver. That's what we do. Meow. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.